It seems like I'm constantly hearing about what foods are good for me and why I should stop eating cake for breakfast. And don't worry about me, I totally don't eat cake for breakfast that much. But I've never thought about my neighborhood and the health hazards that might be all around me. It turns out there are a lot of things in your neighborhood that might affect your health. I'm in New York City to meet environmental scientist Dr. Luz Claudio, who works for Mount Sinai's Eichen School of Medicine. She studies how the environment affects health and knows all the secrets that neighborhoods hold. I started as a neuroscientist, the study of the brain. And a student of mine told me that he had observed that many children in his community were suffering from asthma. <laughs> asthma is caused or it can be aggravated by environmental pollutants. And so I wanted to really be part of the solution to pollution. Today, she's gonna teach me how to investigate my own neighborhood. Hola! To guide me in my search, Dr. Claudio made me a neighborhood scavenger hunt. All I have to do is find what's on the chart, and she's going to tell me what they mean to us. Yes, I Dad, love scavenger hunts. We're going to go around the neighborhood, and I will show you how so many things in the environment can affect your health. I'm so excited. Let's go. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. First up, trees. Hey, we met in a park. Boom, found some trees. I'm the best scavenger hunter ever. In the city, trees are extremely important because not only do they release oxygen that we need to breathe, but when we breathe out carbon dioxide, they take that in. They also take in different pollutants and toxins from the air and from the ground and keep it inside themselves, in the wood, in the, in the leaves. Wait, that's amazing. They're basically acting as an air filter and purifier yes. for us. They also give us a lot of shade, and typically in the cities, it's a lot of warmer. They are creating shade, not throwing it. <laughs> cool. So it turns out trees are heroes. Next up, I gotta find some trash cans. Every neighborhood has trash cans. What could that have to do with anything? I think I see some trash cans. On average, we produce more than four pounds per person of trash every day. Per person? Per person. It's like the weight of like a... Like a chihuahua, maybe a small dog. What happens is a lot of that garbage is not recycled. Only about a third of it is recycled. A lot of the trash that goes out into the oceans and into the world, into the environment, is plastics. And plastics take forever, really, to disintegrate, and they go into the fish that we eat. Plastics, they're the worst. Next up, I'm supposed to find a bus in New York. That should be easy. I see a bus. I see a bus right behind me. So what makes a bus so great? So when you take the bus instead of a taxi or, or a car, because there's so many more people than fit in a bus and because their hybrid electric buses produce less air pollution, you actually are reducing the amount of air pollution that you produce. And that is really good for the environment and for the air. OK, got it. An electric bus is great, but even better is riding a bike. So I'm looking for bike racks. Bike racks mean more people using bikes and less people riding in cars. Bike racks! There it is! There's a bike right there! If we can get more people on bicycles and less traffic on the street, we'll have less air pollution. I support environmental health, so I'm going to hop on that and ride home for a better community for all. Ciao! Ciao.